Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about indicators that you should be watching. And no, I'm not talking about TA, but like actual data indicators um, that you should be watching for Bitcoin price movements. We're going to talk about three, three major ones. Well, I'll, I'll throw a fourth one in, but mainly three major ones, solid ones that you should be watching. The first one is the Bitcoin hash rate. That's how difficult it is to actually mine Bitcoin. This usually correlates extremely well with price. And I don't actually believe it's a lagging indicator either. You, some people uh, explain it both ways. Sometimes it's lagging, sometimes it's like, you know, preemptive. And I've seen it both ways as well. But it's generally a pretty good indicator of where Bitcoin is uh, going. So if you actually look at it, um, right now we're at like a one year low of Bitcoin total hash rate. And this is the low, I mean, this price, although it's not like 29,000, it's we're at a trough uh, still. So when the hash rate continue, uh, starts to pick up, I do believe that's when Bitcoin will actually start to tick up too. It actually makes sense because the more um, the higher the hash rate is, the more expensive Bitcoin has to be for you to successfully mine it. So it kind of like logic parallels. Sometimes it is a lagging indicator because when Bitcoin's more expensive, more people mine it, so hash rate goes up. Um, this particular dump isn't actually due to price. This is because China basically kicked out the Bitcoin miners. Um, so it's a sudden dump and you can see like it actually started dumping like after Bitcoin had already gone down uh, very, very recently. So that wasn't really precipitated by that. But because of China's kicking out of all the miners, um, that's actually why it actually dumped. But the thing is like this sometimes is a lagging indicator. Sometimes it's a pre forward indicator, but it's always something to actually keep look at because it might give you some insight into the future uh, of Bitcoin and how it's actually going to do. The second indicator is the chain analysis, the inflows into Bitcoin. And they do give you daily highlights and I'm sure you can get it to produce more data. And this is how much Bitcoin is held on exchanges. If Bitcoin held on exchanges is low, that means there's not that much a chance of dumping because obviously, you know, like you actually have to have Bitcoin on the exchange to sell them at the exchange for USD. So right now, the, the change in Bitcoin held on exchange in the last day is 34.72K, the highest level in 38 days. But that's basically like, you know, 38 days isn't really that much. If you compare it with historic levels, it's generally not going to be that high. So we're still okay on that. And Bitcoin in transit from mining pools. So like, that's just like how much is coming in from mining pools. And the that statistics is very, very important as well. Because like the in transit from mining pools is only 81.47 BTC. And that's the lowest in 365 days. So the thing is like, I don't really know about the exclusive Intel stuff, but the inflow to exchanges is not all that high. This, the amount held on exchanges is okay right now, but it's really not that high compared to historically. So right now, I think Bitcoin is not going to go for a giant dump anytime soon. Might be wrong about that, but that's just where I stand based on this information. Other people will interpret this information differently. So the second one, chain analysis, um, market.chainanalysis.com. You can just look at the daily highlights to see what's actually going on, the inflows into Bitcoin and, and how much is coming in from the mining pools. The first one was blockchain.com slash chart slash hash rate, Bitcoin hash rate. And the third, uh, well, the third one is two put together, but it's also very important. The first part of that is the BTC USD shorts. And the BTC USD shorts is basically like, how much are uh, people or especially the whales uh, betting against Bitcoin? So as you can see, like Thursday night, when Bitcoin did drop a bit, the shorts went way up. That means like people, like in hindsight, people were probably hedging against the Bitcoin drop. That didn't really happen over the weekend. So the shorts went way down because they basically got rid of the shorts. So right now there's not that many people betting against Bitcoin. And if you look at the BTC USD longs, which is like, you know, betting with Bitcoin, the longs are at an all time high. So there's more longs, there's more longs than shorts right now, which means like there's more people betting on Bitcoin than betting against Bitcoin. However, this sometimes can be a bad indicator as well, because if there's a if there's a sudden spike in shorts or longs and the market goes the other way, it'll force those longs to immediately liquidate and that will actually bring the market up. So there's two ways of looking at it. But right now, since the shorts are down, there's not that many people betting against Bitcoin right now. So we're actually okay. As long as there's a lot of people betting with Bitcoin, and there's actually for a while, there's been a high number of people betting that Bitcoin will actually go up. So I do think Bitcoin is actually going to go up, but there is a danger of a long squeeze. So those are the three main indicators. You have the hash rate, the on-chain analysis, 
of like the flow inflows and outflows and on-chain analysis of Bitcoin and also the BTC USD shorts and BTC USD longs. The fourth one is like the social media indicator, the Google search level and the Twitter level. And that actually correlates probably better than with Bitcoin price than almost anything else. But a lot of times that is a lagging indicator because when Bitcoin price is high, those social media symbols, they shoot up because people search for Bitcoin when the price is high and they don't when Bitcoin price is low. And that gives you the level of interest, not exactly the level of investment, but the level of interest in the Bitcoin market. So those are the signals that you need to watch. And I've given you the websites where you actually can catch them. So that's the uh, news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.